Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make samosas from scratch. So what I've did so far is uh, I've got my fillings already cooked and cooled down. Here we have nice cheese and onions. And here we have yellow potato. Okay, I'm just going to add some pepper to this. Add a spoon of chili paste. gonna cover that and leave it aside. Okay, moving on to our samosa pal or samosa strips as some people know it as. So we're going to use three cups of cake flour for this. Some salt. Just make a well in the center. and enough cold water to make a dough. We're gonna to try to get all the flour out the bowl and start kneading the dough. We will further divide the dough into half and start rolling out where we will then break the dough down further into smaller pieces, approximately 10 pieces of dough. This should be slightly smaller than your palm size. We're going to flatten this out, dust with flour and roll them into 20 centimeter flatbread sizes. So these must be the same size. So I'll try and get them all even on the same size. Grab your oil bottle, take each flat bread and start adding your oil to this. You want to rub that oil in on all ends of it. Just dust with flour and place another over. Continue the process. I have stuck five in each lot. Okay, so make sure you rub the oil evenly on the ends when you're going to pull them out, you don't want them to stick. We are now ready to roll this out. So press the ends down to make sure you have all even shapes. Dust with flour and roll. Make sure you roll lightly when working with pastry so we get nice and flaky pastry. Keep turning this over as you roll out. So we're going to try and get this into a rectangular shape. I have pre-cut my board size so I want to roll it out to this board measurement so I get seven centimeters strips. I've added my oven sheet and now I'm going to transfer the pastry onto this. So make sure you work with it gently as it can tear. And now you want even heat distribution all around so you've got to keep turning them around to make sure each side is cooked and it cooks really fast. You'll see the ends coming out. This makes it easier to pull. If you leave this on too long, it can break. So we're gonna remove this and put our next batch on. I have my pre-cut board, which is seven centimeters wide, which is gonna help me with my measurements for cutting. So you place that down 
and you cut each side of the pastry out carefully there you have it nice and neat and you can move on to cut the next batch here we go all the strips cut and stacked very neatly you can also cling this and you can put it into your freezer and you can take out and use when you want to see how easily it is to remove the strips no tears no breakage we use flour and water to make the sticky paste and then we're going to fold into little triangle pockets stick them put our cheese and onion filling Ooh, that looks good fully loaded fold them up and make sure to glue the ends in nicely so it does not open when you frying them cheese and onion samosas mm -mm, already can't wait to tuck into this uh, so you can do any filling that you like and you can freeze them and fry and eat as desired. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming exciting recipes and prize giveaways.